Okay, I'm running a um, best cricket score of full um, on my Asus Transformer Prime, which is an Android Jelly Bean tablet. And so what I want to display here um, is a problem I'm having with the undo button. So I'm going to start off just by making a completely new match from scratch. So I'll go new match. Um, I won't bother filling in any of that. As you can see, the team's here. Um, I'm just going to load default teams. So there's a couple of names there and just a way over there. Save. And then I will... Okay, these are my settings. Okay. And so now I'm going to start the game. Okay. For the first over, I'm just going to um, put in some random um, runs over here. So I'll say off the first ball, we've got a 1, then a 2, then we've got a 3, Four, five, and then a six. So that's the end of the first over, and we haven't had any problems there. So then it wants me to change the bowler, which is fine, so I'll change that. So I'll wait to his bowling, and this is the start of the second over. So now I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to go one, two, sorry, two, three. Three, four. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the undo button, but I'm just going to do it in the middle of the over, not at the last ball. So I'll go undo, yes. Now, as you can see, it is, as you can see, it is undone the number of balls in this over here. And it has undone the um, the bowling figures and that over, and then it's also undone what the batsman has made over there, and that's all worked perfectly fine. And then when I add another run after that, I added it a four, and it's um, we're fine. It's added in another ball and added in another figure, and then it's added the runs over there. But now I'm going to go to the end of the over, so I'll add another ball. You've got a five, and then I'm going to add in the last ball of the over, a six. But now um, I've realized that I actually didn't score a six with the last um, ball, it was only a four. So what I want to do is I want to undo the last ball, so I'll do that. So I'll click undo, yes. Okay, and now as you can see, it has undone the number of balls there, it has undone that, and it has undone the um, batting figures over here. But although there's still one ball to go in the over, it wants me to change the bowler. Um, and if I keep going with the same bowler and I add in the last ball, which I want it to be a 4, so I'll add in a 4 over there, it assumes that it's the start of a new over and it puts it um, on a separate row and then it still wants me to change the bowler over there okay so now I'm going to be going to the stats and as you can see here with the bowlers it does show a full over there, full over there and it shows the correct number of runs but when I go to the match summary As you can see, I've just opened the match summary here to view it. And I look down here. Um, it added in a full over over there, full over over there, the correct total of runs in um, both the bowler's rows. And in the first um, row here was the correct number of balls in the ball by ball column and the correct total in the runs column. But in this row, it hasn't added the last ball, which I've changed to be the four which was a correct run scored at the end of that over but it has still got the correct total there but it hasn't acknowledged that run at all which is another problem that we have in so I'm going to be going back into the scoring program 
and I'll be going to the wall by wall summary. So here I've just opened the ball by ball summary. And as you can see, this shows in the first over it was one, then it was a two, three, four, five, six. You can see it keeps adding um, throughout the over until you get a full six digits in one row. So when it comes to the second over, it goes one, two, three, four, five. Now the next row should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Should it should have one, two, three, four, five, four, sorry. Um, but instead it's only recorded the four. It thinks that that is part of a new over. As you can see, when it starts a new over, it just has, it just has one um, run in each row. So it thinks that that is part of a new over. So that is a problem that I'm having, and I hope you can sort it out soon. Um, the other problem that I'm um, having with this program is that if I've made a mistake with the um, with the batsman, like for example, if Simon if Simon Duplessis um, was um, Simon Duplessis was the one who scored um, those stats, and Jordan Kist and Jordan Kiston um, scored the stats of Simon Duplessis. I would like to change the um, batsmen around, change the names around, but keep the stats the same. But you can't do it. There's no um, way of editing um, the names or the stats of the batsmen or bowlers during or after the match, which I might need to do if I make a spelling error or if I mix up the plays on my team. Thank you very much, and I hope you can um, please sort out this problem soon.